celebrity. People go absolutely crazy over them. Some people wait in line for hours in hopes of getting just a glimpse of their favorite celebrity. And some people spend hundreds of dollars just to get a picture with their celebrity crush. And some really dedicated fans will risk their lives just to get their idol to notice them. Me, on the other hand, I don't give a f <laughs> so, as we all know, people go absolutely crazy over celebrities. It's just a thing. I mean, I don't really care that much. Like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to meet a celebrity, but if I happen to meet one, I will go absolutely buck wild. <gasps> Is that Justin Bieber? Woo! I love you. Yummy was so good. I mean, that's probably what I would do if I saw Justin Bieber, but I'm not positive. I mean, I've been to a couple concerts, and that's probably the closest I've ever been to meeting a celebrity until today because now I'm gonna be in the same picture as a celebrity. It's just gonna be Photoshop though. Um, so I saw Ryan Trahan made a video where he hid celebrities in his Instagram photos to see if anybody would notice. Great video by the way, I'm gonna link that below. Well, I was thinking and I kinda wanna try the same thing but on Tinder. And obviously my girlfriend absolutely loved this idea. She loved this video idea. So you're gonna make a Tinder? Yeah, a fake one, don't worry. But they're gonna be real girls. Hey, it's just for a video and then I'm deleting it forever. Super smiley face. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah, she's so excited for me to make this. So obviously, since I have a girlfriend, I have not had a Tinder for years. I don't even know if I still know how the app works. I know something about swiping and like bitches are on there. I'm just, I'm totally kidding. I don't call girls that. It's been a long time since I've had a Tinder, so making one is gonna be kind of weird, but interesting. Yo, I'm down. <laughs> but before I make any Tinder accounts, the very first thing I gotta do is go out, have a couple photo shoots, take some good pics, and then Photoshop some celebrities in them. That's the plan, yeah, woo! So excited, are you? Okay, so I'm gonna go out, have a little photo shoot. I think I'm gonna recruit my girlfriend to take my pictures for Tinder, because that only makes sense. And we can meet back here when I'm done. So, later. <laughs> All right, so we just made it to the first location, which is on top of this parking garage. Um, that's my photographer right there. Shout out. I don't know if you guys can see the marks on the ground there and there, but someone was doing some donuts up here. It's a big no-no in my book. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to start. I thought it might give me uh, a cool picture. I don't know though. Right now I'm like scouting out, trying to figure out which angle would be best to have a celebrity hiding in the background. Maybe if I have like this in the background, I can make the celebrity look like they're walking out. All right, we're just gonna wing it. I'm thinking maybe this angle right here. All right, so we just went through, did our first little photo shoot. Uh, just about all these photos are ass. Not this one, that's me. Wow, nice shadow. And the thing that sucks is like that sunlight up there, it's so harsh on my face. There's like shadows and I can't keep my eyes open. Luckily, she uh, was smart enough to give me her glasses. So this definitely helped us out. Yeah, look at that. Look at your boy. The glasses definitely help. That might just be the one. All right, so after scouting some locations, I think this is gonna be the next one. This has gotta be perfect. You got a bench in public. You got some people walking around in the background. Perfect spot to place a celebrity, am I right? Got my photographer over here, she's freezing to death. Jesus. So I think the funniest thing about these photo shoots is we're, um, this is where the next photo is gonna be, and the one we just took was literally right over that way. <laughs> I really hope no one notices the fact that I've been wearing the same outfit in every photo. So this spot right here, we're gonna try to take a picture right there with this art in the background. We got so some people. Artsy. I know, this is gonna be a good photo. Like in general, it's just gonna be a good photo. So hopefully when we take the picture, I'm able to put some peeps, some celebrities right in this section. All right, so we just took the third photo of the day and I don't know if that's gonna be the last one. I kinda wanna take one more. So right now I'm still just kinda like being a location scout and trying to find the next best location, but I'm kinda distracted by these two thick boys coming our way. Yeah, <laughs> look at that one. And I'm back. I would say that was a pretty successful photo shoot. We definitely took a lot of pictures. The only thing is I was wearing the same outfit in every single picture, which is kind of stupid on my part. So I think I'm only gonna get away with posting two pictures from the photo shoot because wearing the same outfit in every Tinder pic, girls are gonna be like, whoa, ew. Um, ew. All right, so the two photos that I'm gonna use from the photo shoot are gonna be this one and this one. Pretty fire, I know, pretty sexy-licious. Then I think I'm gonna try to find like an old throwback photo for probably like the summertime that I can edit a celebrity in somewhere. And I think three pictures should be enough for my Tinder profile. I mean, any more than that, I feel like it's pushing it and it's, I I'm lazy, so. But okay, I think at this point, I should probably just dive into editing these pics because it is definitely gonna take me a minute. Let me get my editing glasses on and uh, 
we're good to go. Once I sat down to start editing, I knew this was either gonna make or break this experiment. I had to pay attention to detail and make sure I made these photos look as real as possible. But of course, before I did anything, I had to put on a Spotify playlist because you already know what's up. Then I decided to do a little bit of research, you know, find a couple paparazzi photos of Justin Bieber because I knew the first celebrity I wanted to use was definitely the Biebs because come on, everybody loves a little Bieber. After doing some research and going through many photos, I eventually found the perfect one. And now it was time to begin editing the very first photo, which was gonna be this one. Definitely a sick little photo, your boy looking like a douche, what up? So I brought in the picture of the Biebs, and now it was time to cut him out. And this was gonna be the long process, because once again, I'm using After Effects and not Photoshop. So I had to cut this man's out by hand, and yes, it took me a minute. But eventually, I ended up with this. Damn, look at that. That's actually looking kind of clean. I mean... Right next to me, it doesn't look exactly that real, but you know. Then I spent a little while trying to resize this man and make him fit in the photo and make it look realistic because trying to get him to the perfect height where he didn't look too big or too small, I knew that was gonna be a struggle for me. And I was trying to pay attention to detail and I knew from the harsh sunlight that he was supposed to have a shadow. So I tried to edit a shadow in. I did not know what the hell kind of shape to put it in though. But eventually I got the first picture to a point that I thought, I was like, yeah, this is pretty good and I'm satisfied. And now it is time to move on to the second one. This was the second picture I decided to start editing and the celebrity I decided to throw in this one was the one and only Zac Efron. Damn, look at my mans. That's kind of unfair. Why does, why does he get to look like that, but I don't? And once again, it was time to spend the next three hours cutting him out. That was, that was a joke, by the way. It probably took like 10 minutes. But eventually, I think I succeeded in making it look pretty realistic, and I think he blends in pretty well. But I did not stop with just Zac Efron. I thought this photo was good enough, and there was enough room and stuff going on that I could add one more, which would be Kylie Jenner. And after all of the editing, all of the blood, sweat, and tears, I ended up with these three photos. This was the first one. Pretty fire, I know. This was the second one, which is probably my favorite, not gonna lie. And last but not least, we got the pick with Post Malone, which is probably the most fake looking one, but whatever, I'm still gonna use it. And the time has finally come to make a Tinder. The time is now, and I'm a little nervous for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, create a new account. Welcome to Tinder, please follow these house rules. Be yourself. Make sure your photos, age, and bio are true to who you are. Boring. I mean, my photos are true to who I am. The, the people in the background, though, that's that's a different story. My three photos are officially on my profile, and they are looking kind of sexy, if I do say so myself. And if you're wondering what I put for my bio, it says, if you're lucky, I'll let you pet my dog. Because I don't know what the fuck to put as a bio on Tinder. But okay, my profile is finally done after 39,000 years and we are ready to start swiping. And the first girl we see is Jen. She's 21. Uh, right. Right. You know what? I don't even know why I'm like bothering to look. I'm just gonna swipe right on everyone. Okay, yeah, I'm officially out of likes. I can't do anything. So what do I... What do I do? I don't know how this app works, so I will see you when I get a match, maybe. And I am back. A couple days have passed, and I think it is finally time to take a look at these Tinder messages and see if anybody called me out. I just want to know if anyone noticed Post Malone. Now, I do want to start this out by saying that no one messaged me first calling me out. No one noticed on their own and just sent me a message like, yo, is that fucking Post Malone? No one just straight up sent me a message calling me out, so that's good. I think we passed the first part of the test. <laughs> Whoa. And also, uh, no girl messaged me first in general. So, that's a really big confidence boost. So I knew it was gonna be up to me. I had to be the one to send out the messages first, get a response, and then see if anyone would just be like, is, is that JB? So let's take a look at some of these conversations, shall we? So I sent this first girl a message and I said, please tell me that's your dog in your pick. And she was like, it is. So I had to be completely honest with her and I said, I think I'm in love. And she was like, ah, oh yeah? So of course I had to hit her with the, do you like cheese? Let me get you some fancy cheese. And that was the end of that conversation. She did not notice anything or say anything about my pictures. So for this next one, I decided to kind of bring it up myself and I sent this girl a message saying, have you ever met a celebrity? And she said, I met Matthew Broderick, AKA Ferris Bueller from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Taylor Swift's parents and John Mayer. I basically met Trump, sadly. Well, damn girl, who haven't you met? So obviously I had to respond and I said, people tell me I look like Trump, sadly. And then she was like, what the fuck? You look nothing 
like him. So then I had to be kind of smooth and I said, you know who you look like? She said who? The girl that stole my heart. <laughs> Porn emoji. And then she was like, oh shit. And that was the end of that. That was the end of the conversation. And once again, she did not notice a damn thing. So for this next one, I decided to keep it kind of casual. So I said, do you hate eggs as much as I do? And then she responded saying, I actually love eggs. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I knew I had to cut it off. This just wasn't gonna work out, so I said, I don't think this is gonna work out between us. It was an honor matching with you, but we must part ways. And she responded saying, okay, too bad. And once again, she did not notice a damn thing. I mean, I know I'm not necessarily just asking, hey, did you notice anything in my pictures? Anything funny, huh? But I was kind of thinking someone would say, hey, I'm just wondering, is that fucking Kylie Jenner in the back of your pic? All right, so at this point, I was starting to get a little bit desperate and I wanted someone to notice something, so I sent to the next message saying, I just realized Zac Efron is in the back of my pic. What the fuck? And the response I got to that was, what? Lol. So even when I should have told her that I think Zac Efron is in the back of my picture, she was like, no. I don't, I don't think so, you're an idiot. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that my Photoshop skills are out of this world, baby. Even though I didn't even use Photoshop. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this experiment was a big success because the whole point was for people not to notice and literally nobody noticed. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're new because I love you. <laughs> Sorry to be so forward. And let me know in a comment below if you maybe want to see me do this again. Maybe on Instagram or Facebook, perhaps? All right, well, let me just say thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you all again very soon, but until next time, peace!